Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be looking at what happens to the equilibrium price and quantity when there's a shift in the supply curve. With that said, let's get into it. So to start, we need to draw our general supply and demand graph, starting with our axes, our supply and demand curves, and then labeling everything. So price on the Y axis, quantity on the X axis, our P star and Q star denoting the intersection of my supply and demand curves. And then of course I have the supply and demand curves labeled as well. Now let's take a look at a supply shock. One example is technological innovation causes a decrease in the production costs of a good. Now we know that production costs or the cost of factors of production is a supply curve shift factor. In this case, it's making the cost of production cheaper which means I'm going to supply more goods because I can afford to make more goods. This is going to cause a rightward shift as supply is going to increase. And you'll notice that the new supply curve is denoted as supply prime. And you'll see the little apostrophe next to it telling you that it's the new supply curve, not the original. This is very important when you're noting something like this on a test or an assignment because the professor needs to know which one was the original and which one was the new curve. And obviously it's not necessarily practical to draw arrows all of the time. So you'll notice that the original P star and Q star have also changed. There's now a new intersection point between the new supply curve and the original demand curve. So our price has actually decreased and we can follow it along to the new intersection point here. And you'll notice that quantity has increased to this new point here. We denote these points as P prime and Q prime. And once again, for the same reason as before, this just tells your professor that this is the new point, uh, not the original equilibrium. You'll notice that P has decreased or the price has gone down and that quantity has gone up. This will always be the case when there's a rightward shift in supply with no change in demand. It does not matter if there's a small shift or a large shift. If demand does not move and supply shifts to the right, there will always be a fall in price and an increase in quantity. We have videos on what happens with the leftward shift in supply, a rightward and leftward shift of demand. So if that's something you're interested in, please find those videos and check them out if that's something that you think will help you in your economics class. We hope that you found this video helpful and if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.